Israel is mourning as four soldiers were killed on Tuesday after entering a booby-trapped building in the southern Gaza neighborhood of Tel Sultan. Among them was paramedic Staff Sergeant Agam Naim, the first female soldier to be killed since the IDF's ground offensive in Gaza began. In the same incident, four soldiers were injured. Last week, the IDF declared the defeat of Hamas's Rafa Brigade after killing over 2,000 operatives and destroying kilometers of tunnels. Despite this, buildings and entire neighborhoods had remained booby-trapped, with smaller cells of terror operatives carrying out attacks in these areas. And as the region remains on high alert due to risk of the Gaza war expanding, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Egyptian Foreign Minister Badr Abdelladi in Cairo on Wednesday. Again, what a critical partner Egypt has been and remains uh, for regional peace, regional stability, regional security, no more so than in the effort to get a ceasefire across uh, the finish line. We're really grateful for that uh, partnership. Uh, it plays an essential, uh, essential role. The visit marking Blinken's 10th trip to the region since the start of the war, and for the first time, Israel was not on the schedule. Before the meeting, U.S. officials said privately that they did not expect any breakthroughs in Cairo. Egypt's cooperation is seen as crucial to resolving Israel's demand for greater security along the Philadelphia Corridor, the narrow strip of land between Gaza and Egypt. I don't want to put a timetable on when we would put that proposal forward because ultimately we want a proposal that's going to get to yes. And it's very important that we, uh, as you've heard the secretary say, stop the haggling back and forth. And so we want to, when we present a proposal, we want to know it's going to get to yes. And that's the work that we're doing with uh, our Egyptian and Qatari partners this week. Despite the setbacks, Blinken is seeking to keep up the pressure for a deal between Israel and Hamas. We all know that a ceasefire is the best chance to tackle the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, to address the risks to regional stability. Following the meeting, the Egyptian president's office said ways to intensify joint efforts between Egypt, the U.S. and Qatar on ceasefire and hostage negotiations were discussed. Blinken adding that 15 out of 18 paragraphs had been agreed on in the deal, but closing remaining gaps has proven elusive.